Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, this is going to be the uh, first lecture uh, on the su subject of organizational behavior. And uh, there are some, uh, some, some, some notices which you have to uh, pay attention to. Uh, this semester, you are going to study organizational behavior and the principles of management. And, and while you're reading and studying both of them, you're going to find that, uh, that some, some overlap between them because uh, organizational behavior uh, help and support uh, managers in, in, in trying to un understand their employees. So uh, because, of, uh, because of that uh, issue, we're going to find some uh, some concepts which which cross both uh, both uh, both uh, subjects organization behavior and, and, and management and you're going to start with uh, like an introduction to organization behavior uh, what is it what does it do uh, why do we need to uh, study it how is it gonna uh, say in a, in, a, in a way broaden our, our conception about about management and to help us understand management and organizations and how they how they function and also be able to uh, to uh, analyze organizations on on three levels the the macro level and and organization theory uh, help us understand the macro level of organizations and how they interact together and how they behave in the environment and stuff like that. And the second level, the group level, and in any in any work settings, you're gonna find that the groups and 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 teams and uh, uh, say say for about uh, thirty or forty years now, we rely very heavily. On using teams uh, to uh, to have work done, and and having teams uh, give leverage, uh, uh, add 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 a lot to the uh, to the work of the organization, uh, add a lot of synergy to the uh, kind of of outcomes organization uh, achieves when it relies on teams. Well. To, uh, to appreciate the, uh, the uh, concept and the knowledge which you guys want to acquire about organization uh, behavior, uh, we need to uh, tackle on the, uh, the concept on the issue of value and value creation. As you're all going to find out, uh, managers, when we say, when we try to describe what managers uh, actually, actually, in reality, manage. We're gonna find that managers manage resources, and 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 what we know, the phenomenon which which we describe as 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 a company. The company is a result of how managers manage the available resources, and the resources managers manage. Uh, see, see anything anything which you which managers use in order to uh, in order to have others perform work and achieve the uh, goals the goals for for business organizations are like like either uh, goods or services and whatever it takes in order to produce the uh, the products uh, whether they're goods or services is is considered as a resource so uh, resources in general are classif classified into uh, physical resources like like uh, capital like machines like uh, tools like uh, raw material stuff like that whatever is physical called called physical resources and the second classification is the uh, the knowledge whatever knowledge you use uh, like 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 technology like like uh, databases like uh, whatever whatever it is even even if you get uh, a piece of research conducted on what customers would like to uh, to have their needs and wants and uh, demands all 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 are considered like 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 a knowledge 
resource. And the third classification in the uh, human resources. Human resources are like the uh, the uh, the people, the people which we uh, which we manage in order to have them do things for us, for the company. We uh, we hire people. We hire people in order to benefit from their uh, effort, energy, uh, uh, education, uh, past experience, uh, all of what they are all about. Okay, as 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 what we. Uh, uh, rent when we hire employees. So uh, when we when we uh, manage the resources, we manage the resources in order to uh, achieve some uh, some goals, some goals which we uh, we decided that we need to use the resources in order to achieve. Among the resources. And some people, many people actually say that the most important resource is the uh, human resources. Human, human resources, they, uh, they, are, they are people, they have, uh, they have brains, they have attitudes, they have, uh, they have uh, energy which, you are able, which they are able to uh, uh, render, to perform uh, what, what the, the, the planned work for them, or the assigned work, or the processes required from them. And, and in order to be able to manage uh, those human resources well, you need to under, understand them. And you need, what, uh, you need to know what you can uh, get out of them in order to achieve their goals and and the goals the goals achieved uh, when when we succeed to sell them we said that for business companies goals uh, reflect the kind of uh, of uh, products we uh, we offer the market we we we, uh, we sell to uh, to customers the main point here is you have to use the uh, the uh, profits gained from selling products in order to create value for those affected by your work, those which you as a company would like to uh, to uh, to satisfy those which you need the support like like any company any company any organization any manager need the support from customers need support from the government need support from other managers and employees need, need, need support from investors need support from the community need support from uh, suppliers uh, distributors all of what you guys gonna know uh, uh, called these groups are called stakeholders stakeholders means those which may be which are classified as the beneficiary uh, of the existence of the organization they benefit from the existence of, of the organization so if you use your uh, your uh, your uh, profit in order to satisfy their needs then definitely they're going to support you definitely they're going to be an asset for the uh, for the uh, company, and the company wouldn't be able to exist without them. So uh, the the issue of value is so important. We create value for stakeholders, and to for, don't forget, among the stakeholders are our human resources, the other managers and employees. So. Uh, we cannot we cannot get uh, the most out of them and we cannot offer them the kind of value which they uh, expect from us without really understanding them without knowing what triggers their effort without knowing their uh, their their needs without knowing what they what they hope for without satisfying whatever needs that they may have so the issue of value is so important for stakeholders and most important for those who work for us, for those who get work done through them.
our employees, our human resources. Also, it's important for you guys to uh, good idea about uh, what you are uh, expected to learn out of uh, this course. First of all, you have to, you have to uh, be able to master how you describe, how you uh, define organizations. Like, like if I ask you what is an organization you have to be able to explain uh, and 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 not notice that if you memorize what an organization is and i ask you to describe it you you most likely you ain't gonna be able to uh, to have a feeling to uh, to grasp what an organization is by by just memorizing the terms and 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 the definition however it's more important to understand to be able to uh, visualize what an organization is so uh, you would be able to uh, describe it to anybody okay without having to uh, to uh, to uh, to memorize uh, things so uh, understanding is the best thing to uh, to learn and grasp uh, concepts and, and, and ideas However, we are also uh, gonna gonna talk about the uh, and explain the OB concept and, and goals. What are the goals? What are the aims of the uh, field of organization behavior? Also, also, since uh, if you remember, I uh, just said a while ago that there is an overlap between between management and, and organization behavior. And actually, you cannot you cannot separate them. Bo organization behavior help, help managers uh, support managers so uh, we're gonna we're gonna have an idea about what management is and and what managers do and also uh, see as time passes by uh, innovations uh, developments uh, inventions uh, updated knowledge uh, all all impact uh, our our basic uh, values all impact our understanding see see the the, the more the more uh, technology develops the more we view the same thing in in a different way so uh, there is there is a difference between the classical view of, of management and organization and the newer view of organization and management uh, with the uh, which 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 emerged with the human uh, relations movement and and also as we uh, uh, started to experience more developments in the technology in the uh, 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 in the business arena i.e uh, the more we started to compete, the more nations started to compete together, uh, the, the, the more we started to think differently about organizations, like, like in the past, it was so easy to ask what is the ideal way to organize work, what is the ideal way to, uh, to manage. However, as we advanced in, in, in knowledge, we started to uh, to answer and and say well if you want to know what is the best way to uh, to manage or organize then tell me the conditions under which you gonna you gonna organize or under which you gonna you gonna you gonna manage so it all uh, converges on the word well it depends and and this gave rise to uh, the contingency approach to management and to organization like, like if anybody asks you how would you design an organization you will tell him or her well it depends tell me the conditions then i'm gonna tell you how to uh, how to uh, how to design <coughs> and this started the uh, contingency approach to man to management and in, in understanding or, or uh, explaining these concepts about management, which will uh, uh, help us in uh, understanding organization behavior, we're going to know about uh, what are the managerial roles, activities, 
agendas or strategies and 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 processes what what needs to be done uh, also we're gonna we're gonna have some uh, knowledge about uh, some of the contemporary management concerns especially that most companies now are affected by the international environment many companies uh, do business outside of their national borders and of course they are affected by by the kind of culture they're gonna face when they do business in other uh, countries or when they trade with other uh, uh, countries or when they have subsidiaries branches that is in other companies uh, countries so uh, uh, we're gonna tackle on some of the contemporary uh, management concerns so after what you said so far if anybody asks you what, what, what an organization is, what is an organization? Uh, when you think about it, if you uh, went to any company, if you went to, uh, whether it is private or, or governmental, whether it is like, uh, just think about the tourist company, think about uh, a restaurant, think about uh, any, any type of organization uh, which you have dealt with before. How would you describe it? First of all, I bet you, I bet you, first of all, you're going to say that uh, any organization has people. Well, I'm going to tell you, fine. And uh, you're going to say that any organization has a common goal, which those people work for. I'm going to tell you, well, uh, great, great. And you're going to tell me that they achieve those goals through their collective effort. Well, Thank you, bravo. However, would you tell me a little bit? Would you let me understand more what you mean by that? You're gonna tell me that, well, those people work, uh, work, work together. They have relationships. They interact uh, together. And in doing so, each of them must have a certain role to, uh, to perform and when they enact their roles, they, their roles overlap, overlap. See, when two people interact together, when two people cooperate together, so definitely their roles overlap. It has to be overlap. Nobody works in a vacuum, in isolation from others. You have to work with others. So the roles of all of those work together must overlap somehow and and also the overlap the interaction uh, create what we say group effort and and they all work for for the achievement of a certain end and if you guys uh, think more about it the kind of relationships between people who work to achieve a certain goal cannot cannot be randomly uh, uh, spurred out cannot be randomly enacted it has to be enacted for a certain purpose that certain purpose gives direction and that certain purpose uh, make people uh, enact each of them enact his or her role in order to have a piece of work done and the collective work of all of them result in achieving the common the common goal the goal which they all work for so uh, organizations uh, in short are like are like a social uh, invention and uh, which means that they have people working together and each of them has a role and the roles overlap and they interact together in a certain way that certain way is called structure uh, see if you uh, do a piece of work and i do another piece of work and then both of us uh, are required to cooperate together in order to uh, put the pieces each of us worked on, put them together to, uh, to make a whole uh, outcome. Uh, then we say that we have that we have a structure, okay? 
so the en enactment the uh, the uh, the the performance the playing of the different roles result in 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 creating a structure so uh, the structure and through the structure we are able to figure out the kind of uh, group effort so uh, organizations uh, are like uh, any organizations like an a social entity uh, it has uh, people so uh, it is like uh, like uh, like a social invention uh, with the presumption that when people work together people work in teams or groups the collective outcome of uh, their working together will produce more work than that had each of them worked on his or her own when people work as a group they have more outcome than that of uh, each individual working alone and they all work together in order to accomplish goals and the accomplishment of goals uh, is achieved through the collective effort of the whole organization of the whole group now what is the uh, behavior of people in organizations uh, the behavior of people in organizations uh, uh, reflect the attitudes the attitudes which uh, which people have uh, about work about about others about about management about their uh, about their jobs about their how their tasks uh, are, are delineated or are uh, assigned uh, to them and 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 consequently uh, their, their their behaviors how they behave individually how they behave in in groups uh, all that all that uh, is classified as organizational behavior or behavior in organizations also uh, how how organizations uh, can be uh, structured more effectively see if you know the attitudes of people if you know why people behave in a certain way then definitely definitely you're going to be able to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, decide on how to uh, design the work how to uh, structure their uh, their uh, their roles through knowledge about 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 how they uh, 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 feel about things, about how they uh, interact with others and the reasons for their uh, for their interaction, and also how uh, how the external environment and and the many events in it uh, affect organization. Uh, see, for instance, for instance, in in times of uh, of uh, economic crisis. Uh, you're going to find that uh, everything inside the organization is affected. Uh, why? Because of the economic crisis. It's part of the environment, and the organization is affected by the environment. And, and uh, yeah, think about it. After all, those people who work and make up what we call an organization, they are coming from the external environment. They are coming from the environment around us. So they. Uh, they 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 are affected by by the context they are affected by the uh, the uh, the environment surrounding surrounding them so uh, whether it is economic conditions whether it is social conditions whether it is uh, 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 technological conditions whether no no matter what conditions surrounds the uh, organization uh, is 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 considered as part of the external environment, and of course, external environment affect affect, affect organizations, and those who work inside organizations and make up the organization itself. Now, since organizational behavior is concerned about the uh, behavior of uh, of the people, of our human uh, resources at work. 
then it is needed to uh, to uh, have a good idea about what is human resource management. Human resource management, when you manage human resources, it's so important to have uh, programs, practices, systems, uh, in order to uh, to have uh, the uh, set the coherent set of, uh, of roles and, and policies and procedures regarding how to uh, recruit employees, how to uh, select them, how to uh, make up uh, compensation packages for them and and uh, train and develop them uh, train them and teach them the new practices the new uh, technologies how to perform new tasks now also to develop them develop their uh, skills develop their knowledge develop their uh, uh, abilities and and it's so important to uh, to uh, to advance the uh, skills and 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 knowledges which uh, which uh, our human resources have also knowledge of organization behavior help to uh, understand the use and effectiveness of of human practices Well, after all that uh, we said, it, uh, it uh, becomes obvious now to uh, to explain why 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 do we study organization behavior? Uh, even for those who are not uh, are not managers, knowledge about organization behavior uh, is 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 very interesting. Uh, it's very important because. See, knowledge about human nature, about why people behave in certain ways and, and why people uh, succeed and, and why companies in general uh, fail, uh, why groups fail to achieve their, uh, their, their goals because of internal uh, uh, conflict, uh, maybe because of uh, lack of performing uh, their roles knowledge about the organization behavior is, is very interesting to us because it explains it explains a lot it also is is, is very important because it provides us with uh, uh, profound knowledge uh, regarding how managers should uh, should act should uh, direct should uh, control uh, employees and also it, it gives them an idea about uh, about consumers why why consumers behave in certain ways how they make uh, decisions how they rationalize their uh, their uh, their buying behavior it's, it's very important to acquire knowledge about uh, about that stuff it also makes a difference see when you have uh, knowledge about organization behavior, you may be able to not only understand the uh, uh, individual's attitudes, uh, but you may also be able to uh, to change their uh, their attitudes. Uh, it uh, it, uh, it also uh, gives us insight about why some companies become. Uh, more 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 successful than others about how human uh, resources may be a valuable asset in competition against other companies and how human resources our individuals our employees may may help us create and and also become our competitive advantage the advantage with the, the edge the advantage which we uh, if if we utilize them well we may have a competitive advantage over other companies through our human resources so it does help us to uh, to make a difference and also to make our organizations more more effective than other organizations and other competitors after all of what we said it becomes uh, so very obvious 
that organization behavior has uh, certain goals. Mainly, they are there are three. Uh, those three goals are uh, uh, predicting, explaining, and managing uh, behavior, managing people at work. See, gaining knowledge about organization behavior make us as managers more able to uh, to understand the human human behavior why why people uh, behave in certain ways and once we're able to understand the behavior then we're going to be able to explain that behavior we're going to be able to explain the causes of the behavior we're going to be able to explain the uh, factors which make people behave in certain ways and once we're able to identify those factors then we're going to be able to uh, predict their future behavior i.e if uh, if i present somebody with uh, some money i may i may uh, know that uh, that person is in need of money and and if i uh, uh, promise to uh, to uh, to give them uh, like a bonus uh, raise in the salary in return for achieving some some goals uh, then I will know that that person will uh, will be motivated that person will perform the job better because they need that money however some other people may uh, may need to be recognized uh, recognized of being uh, say the one of the best employees or the the best uh, of of, uh, of all employees, a person like this may be may be uh, uh, may become a high performer if uh, he or she knows that had they done their work well, exceptionally well, that they're going to be recognized as the best uh, employee. So uh, knowing the factors which impact the uh, the uh, behavior make us able to predict the future behavior of people and if we are able to predict the future behavior of people then we're going to be able to control them and and once you control the behavior of people then definitely you become better managers as we said before uh, management involves the management the managing of, uh, of resources the three uh, classification of resources we mentioned before uh, and and uh, the resources are managed in order to uh, achieve uh, certain goals based on uh, evaluation anticipation for the environment the surrounding environment and and so so many things like the uh, customer needs and wants like the uh, co condition of the competition in the market and the economic conditions, so many, so 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 many things. So uh, goals are decided based on uh, an evaluation, uh, an appreciation for the environment surrounding us. However, we have to know that managers are not supposed to do work by hand, but they do work by orchestrating the efforts of others. So they have work done through through others through managing that's why uh, so many people say that management is is a challenge and it is a challenge before because you as a manager you become responsible about about work done which you do not do yourself but you have others orchestrated in order to do it uh, and and uh, a behavior can be uh, explained and predicted uh, then it can be managed and the OB involves analysis while management is about action so uh, you use knowledge regarding organization behavior in order to be able to analyze behavior of people uh, behave in certain ways so you'd be able you would be able to control them and once you are able to control them then then you uh, focus on on their 
performing of, of their jobs and tasks. However, effective management involves evidence-based management and evidence Evidence-based management is, is so important as, as we're going to see in, uh, in a moment. So, uh, even though we put uh, frameworks uh, regarding how people behave, we have to uh, consider the kind of uh, practical knowledge, the knowledge which we gain from uh, from uh, social sciences, from uh, research on organizations, from uh, uh, practical applied research on, on individuals, uh, real hard data, real hard data about the real world, how people behave in real world, in, in real organizations, in real companies, help us to uh, to uh, mesh both together mesh our uh, frameworks with evidence from real life so uh, it's it's very important to base our decisions and make decisions based on evidence from real life not just uh, theoretical frameworks and once we are able to do that then de 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 definitely the evidence based management result in better attainment of, of goal and, and, and success for the company.